Hello, welcome to the TrueGrid 2021 updated web portal design overview. We're going to go through each of the options in the web portal so you can get familiar with them. This is when you log in the default screen that you'll get to. You'll see currently here My Computers. You can select this drop down to be able to see other information such as All Computers. So as an admin, you can see all computers if you'd like. You can filter down to pulled computers, which are groups of computers, non-pulled computers, which are individual computers, or you can see all computers. If you want, you can search by specific host names. By default, it's going to start just in My Computers. So if you don't see a computer you're looking for, you can expand this search. You can also take a look at different apps that are assigned. You can also look at customer domains. These are domains that you've added of customers. If you're an MSP, you'll have an option of customer domains. Under company management, you'll be able to see different assignments. So for example, desktop assignments and virtual app, remote app assignments. So under desktop assignments, you can view by users, or you can view by computers. So it depends how you want to look at it. If you want to look at it by users and see what computers they've been assigned to, you could do that or update it. If you want to look at it by computers, you could look at a specific computer or a pulled set of computers and you can manage assignments to it. Here you can update it, select what users are assigned to this machine, for example. If you have lots of users, you could always make use of this search input box. So throughout the application, you'll see different ways you could search, filter down by different users or computers if you have a lot of entries in there. You can also go to app assignments and see different options of different apps reporting in. Here are different uh, users that are reporting in and you can assign them to specific apps. So for example, I wanna assign, assign Brandon to the access application that's reporting in from the domain controller. You could also view this differently. You could view it by application. So here I can see what users are assigned to this application. If you ever need to, you could always refresh the available applications that are reporting in from the AD domain. You can also check the status of the different agent hosts in the Active Directory environment. Here we have two different hosts so that there's more redundancy. So you can see the Sentry version and you can see when it last reported in. If there's an issue here with one of the Sentry agents, this will actually turn amber instead of green. If you want to install an additional agent, you could always click for this activation code, you could click here to copy it to the clipboard, or you could click here to see the activation code. In this screen, the, this is all the company area screen, but in here you can actually go to different subsections. So here we're in currently just resource assignments, but we could also go to device management, for example. Here if you wanted to enroll different devices into BitLocker management support. You could download an enrollment file or copy the link to it and then enroll it from that device. You can also go to Active Directory Federation. So in this case, you could assign certain technicians to specific customer domains. This would give them admin rights in the TrueGrid application and in that Active Directory domain can also go to TrueScan ID monitoring reports. Here you can add domains. You could run free discovery scans, or you could purchase a full scan report. Here under reporting, you can see reports about authentication or about licensing. So for authentication, we can see reports of failed or successful logins to the TrueGrid application, either via the web portal or mobile applications. You can also look at licensing. We can look at licensing based upon different products, so based upon Secure RDP or BitLocker, for example. So if we look at BitLocker, we can see for each 
for either the primary domain or customer domains, whether it's over or under allocated with licensing. If you don't have enough licensing, it will impact the user's ability to use secure RDP licenses or for devices to be able to report in for BitLocker management. If you have an issue and you need to allocate more licenses or decrease licenses, you can go to adjust licensing here. You can, if, you, if you don't see the ability to add new licenses, here it doesn't have it, because I'm not logged in as the root admin login for TrueGrid Workspace. So for each domain, there's a root admin login who will have access to add new licenses or remove licenses to adjust the subs overall subscription and associated fees related to the number of licenses. So here you can see we have 32 secure RDP licenses and 32 BitLocker licenses. We've purchased a total of 100 licenses and we have these 32 secure RDP licenses allocated to this primary domain and 32 BitLocker licenses allocated to this primary domain. Since I'm an MSP, it comes with five free secure RDP licenses. Under customer domains, I can select from this pool of licenses and allocate them to customer domains. So for example, I have 32 available secure RDP licenses. I'm gonna allocate them to more licenses to this domain and you can see them decrement here. Then I'm going to, I can either cancel changes or I could update the allocation. So you can see back on my primary domain, I've reduced the number of licenses available because I allocated them to the customer domain. So you could use those licenses either on your internal primary domain, or you could allocate them as you need to customer domains. So under the company area, these are the main areas you'd utilize. So you resource assignments to assign devices to users. They could be desktops or virtual applications, and you can assign them to users or assign users to devices, however you want to look at it. Under device management, you can enroll devices for BitLocker management. Under Active Directory Federation, you can assign technicians to customer domains. Under TrueScan ID monitoring, you can monitor for dark web compromised credentials for specific domains. And under reports, you can report on authentication login activity and licensing compliance activity. Now we're going to switch over to the customer section. So if you're an MSP, you'll have a customer section. If you're a corporate customer, you wouldn't have this section. We can see three customer domains already set up here. We can see there aren't any risk alerts for the dark web for these domains. We can see the status of these domains. We can check and see the Sentry hosts that are installed. So when you set up a new customer domain, it's a similar process. You would either connect them to Azure AD or you would connect them to an on-premise traditional Active Directory. If you're going to connect them to the traditional Active Directory, you would download the Sentry installer and you would use the activation code here to activate that Sentry installer agent. If you connect a domain to Azure Active Directory, the agents you'll need would be the Secure Connect. You'll then report in those devices to here, so you can assign those devices, these computers, to specific users. So it'll be the same process for device resource assignments, but you'll connect one via Azure Active Directory, or you could choose to connect one via traditional Active Directory. For users who will need to log in and launch desktops, you'll always have here the download links for Windows connector and the Mac connector. The mobile connectors can be found on the Google Play Store and the Apple Play Store. Next, we're gonna take a look at the profile section up here. 
So I'm going to click on Profile. And here, if I was the root admin, I would be able to update the username here if I need to. We generally recommend using an alias distribution list for the root admin login. Here I can update company branding. I can turn on branding. I can upload a logo. I can edit branding information. And I can get links to the branded portal login and branded risk report. Also, if you would like us to set up a CNAME DNS entry for your branded portal, we can do that. You could just contact us on live chat here. Anytime you have questions that you can't answer from this portal, you can contact us on this live chat, or you can access our knowledge base at help.truegrid.com. Going to now go to settings section. Here you have different settings. So for example, I can set my settings for RDP preferences, full screen, windowed mode, or all displays. This is a very popular one to see the RDP screen on full screen, all monitors. I can set resolution, video quality, and many options here. You can see here as another tab to change, for example, device redirection. If you do want to use to redirect printers, you'll have to turn off zero trust policy, which is enabled by default. So for example, I could select this and turn on redirect printers. But by default, we do have zero trust policy enabled just for the higher level of security. If I want to set settings for an entire domain, I can select the domain. And so you can see here, do I want to save changes? I'm going to discard and go to the domain. And I can set domain level settings for all the users on the domain. I could set it for our primary domain, or I could set it for a customer domain. And you have all the same options here. Next, I'm going to go to, you can also get to subscriptions from here. So just like we went to subscriptions when we were looking at the licensing report we got here, but this is another way to get to subscriptions. So here I can, again, adjust allocation to customer domains. I'm going to click back to my workspace. And here again, I can see all the computers reporting in for my domain. I can see just my computers or all computers, or I could go to customer domains and see information there. For watching the 2021 True Grid redesign video overview. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact us on our live chat or read help.truegrid.com to review any of our support articles. Thank you.